Hi folks. So I'll try to get the perfect setup for this. Uh, I've had to uh, bring my table, my easel round to avoid sh um, a light shining on that side on the board. It's a three, two, three millimeter MDF primed with PDA glue. Very fibrous, lovely, lovely surface to work on. Uh, hope the sound's not too uh, booming. Right, okay, so uh, I'll, I'll, sk I'll sketch in a some sort of view, uh, Scottish lock or something like that. A uh, bit of uh, bit of kind of and a bit of white spirit. Uh, let's go quite high. Now that's shining on there. So I can't. I really can't help the shine. That that will dry. Uh, so quite a big sky. So uh, Oh, we've got some water there, so that's headland. Oh, it's going down, badly downhill there. Bit better. Now I'm quite a, I'm fairly close to the microphone, but I can't have much room to uh, move the webcam microphone, well, this integral, uh, further back or further into the room. I need the space. So, uh, okay, we could put a bit of snow on one, one side of that. Uh, See if I get a bit of my water, one of my watercolours, paintings, let's get that uh, coming around. Here. And just wonder if I could take that off of there and just fill this in with land. It's all foreground. Not sure, but so we can change our minds however we however we want. So we can put some trees in there. Water coming down there. Uh, we'll see. There's quite a lot of foreground, but then foreground's are quite easy when you do them quick. Get them out of the way. Start it off with a dark background. Well, you use burnt umber because it's the fastest drying paint on the, in the palette. Uh, right, okay, now let's uh, get a bit of tissue. I think we can just. something like that. Okay, that's a little bit better. Bit of a shape there. Right, okay, so let's uh, let's put in a 
supposed to be cut now by this. Put in some water. Any old colour, any old grey will do. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm not going to use that anymore so I can clean that out. Oops. I'll use that for my linseed oil. Oh, I my hands now. I don't like my spirit, but uh, it does for blocking in. So a bit of oil. And a little bit of dryer. And then uh, cabinet red, ultramarine, burnt sienna, pain spray, a bit of pain spray, yellow, cadmium yellow pale and yellow ochre. Right, okay, let's I just work out the sky. Now, probably a, a, a bright sky and a darker horizon then. Uh, well, if we have light there, we don't want a light sky, do we? So if we have a light sky there, we can have a bit of dark here to catch the uh, light on the snow. So let's get, let's just get, uh, Just go to sort of a, a nice uh, composition here, so I'll get that across there. Hi, oh, okay. Sorry, I'm going to see if it's making a bit of noise out there. Ah. Oh. My neighbour mowing her lawn. She's a teacher, so she's still on holiday. Her husband's out at work. There's a lovely neighbours. I'm very glad to say. Okay, let's uh, let's muck about with that foreground. I think let's get a let's have a get a bigger brush. Uh, Right, I've got, I've got this brush, it's getting a bit uh, mangled now. Just give it a bit of a comb. Okay, so, uh, bit of dark and bit of light in there, so a bit of, bit of burnt sienna, bit of Payne's grey. Oh, made myself jump there. I'm going to raise this up a bit. Well, I still as good a pic. Well, it turns out the picture's okay, but if I can just zoom, that's yeah, well, that's better. That's okay, so we can carry on. But I can't see what's going on over here because of uh, the angle I've I've got. Just big seas, uh, those earthy colours together the paint's grey bit of burnt sienna hoping for that bit of dry when it will go a bit tacky when we get into actually detailing it or creating the illusion of detail I like to say, I like the blue in there. 
Okay, that's got that in. Right, let's uh, I don't know how this one's going to balance out, but let's uh, put in some light sky. So a touch of yellow, a touch of red, a uh, load of white. Not sure, prefer yellow ochre to that. Now, when you're doing your clouds or sky, don't follow the contours of the land. It looks, you don't realise you're doing it. I've done it myself many times. Now, burst yellow is a very good light colour. Nice warm. Put some that up there. Put a little, quite a bit of darks going in there. Uh, I'll just use that bit of paint up. Now get some dark in there. Blue, Payne's grey, bit of white. Whoa. Like I said the light's going to go on there, so we want dark, a good bit of dark, a bit of red. Ooh, put some bit of yellow there. That's a little bit blue, I think I prefer the grey. Right, I'm just going to clean the palette. I really do love uh, painting in oils because even though I'm a bit haphazard in making something up as I go along, it's always a challenge. Always a challenge, you never know where you're going to go with it. Call it flying by the seat of the, your pants. Okay, that was a light brush. Yeah, I only clean my brushes at the end. Oh, I was going to, have to scrub that off with my. Right. Yeah, the white. Well, folks, my PayPal account is nearly exhausted with the. Uh, material so if you want to be generous and you appreciate what I do it would be nice if you could make a contribution by PayPal hold out the begging bowl uh, okay now I've just got that bright uh, light Oh, I can't see that colour of the light shining on it. If I go back a bit, I need to put in some some grey, dark grey. Uh, so this light that side, dark. That's dark. So we've got the the, the lights coming in here. So dark. A bit of red. So a bit of red in with that uh, grey. I'll do a bit of blending on here. So we've got light going down there, bit of bit of dark here. Mm. 
remember seeing a lovely painting by Ted Wesson of a Scottish lock or stream. You might think I find skies uh, light, dark. Well, I've been doing this for a number of well, many years now, and it never gets easy. You're never as good as you want to be, and if you are, well, give up. Get a bit of Right, we could get some light in there. We could use some of that in the cloud, maybe. So let's start there. Let's get a bit more, a bit darker. Bit of red. Thing is, if you get forward, you can always wire forward, but with your soften we'll get some uh, yellow ochre in, in here a bit of oil Yellow oak is very, very useful colour. So slowish, slow. Just a hint of snow on there. I'm not used to painting snow mountains.
Just get this gently blended. Dark there. And then with some shadow. Just a bit of page clay. Oh, well, that's not looking too bad, is it? It's something, something about there. I put some trees, I think I put some trees on there. Not sure about that, that leaves us a bit of blending. I haven't finished the sky yet. I'm just doing this to encourage me. Ah, oh, that's now coming down the slope, but we'd be coming into some green, wouldn't we? Okay, that's not so bad. Now I'm still flying by the seat of my pants. It's got a massive bit of foreground to texture. But let's do a bit more of that sky. Let's see if we can get that to a finish. Bit of blue, bit of Payne's grey, bit of white.
Oh, okay. Well, that's not too bad, is it? Let's just carry on. Blue, red, bit of paint's going to touch of white. Right, okay, well, I'll say okay, then I see something else that I could give attention to. Right, let's uh, get those trees in. Uh, yeah, trees, trees, trees. Uh, my favourite colour for greens is uh, cadmium red, ultramarine, and cadmium pale, cadmium yellow pale. See, this all started to, to go a bit tacky now. I think we'll have a little bit of a, a plane in there. Uh, ah, plain colour. Well, I've put in some ochre. On the edge of that, it's uh, the water. Right, okay, now some, some nice trees. Aha. Or you could use, you could use uh, ultramarine uh, birch, sorry, ultramarine burnt sienna and yellow. What's some darkish ones? So that's burnt sienna with uh, ultramarine. And you can add more light to that. We, we can mod modify that. Where's the line knocking up? The mess. I really struggled yesterday with that uh, small one I did. That was, I think I tried to cram too much into such a small space. Alright, that's a bit of mixture of burnt sienna now and a bit of, uh, bit of that, a bit of oil. Bit of grey, I think. 
it's just too too bright for that distance. Good to try brush here. Don't know why. It just looks good, doesn't it? So well, we want a bit of a dry brush on the uh, on the edge of that because we've got to count to change the water. Okay, so now I get some some nice grey light. Quite like that. This had a bit more higher bits there. I think I probably should have I think that's a little bit better uh, now we need some stuff in there uh, well we could have had some, some rocky stuff haven't we so let's just uh, I'm going to try these as well because I just put some lights on top of this this mass here. It's just maybe a little snow exact, but uh, Brush is wearing out quite. I've had it for about three years. It's a little bit of a beach.
All right, now let's uh, have a go. I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so that do give the impression of night on rocks, I hope. Oh, they just indicated them. Right? right now, then we've got to fill that foreground. Now we've got a hill or rocks coming down, so we've got to. Uh, ooh, nice and dark. So I've got my my lovely brush here. So we're going to mix up some bit of ochre. See, see where we go with it, creating the illusion of detail. Just go to do this with stipple, I think. It's the, the easiest way I know to cover ground, and you can go over and over it. We can put some rocks in there as well. A bit of oil, a bit of light. Let's catch in some nice light. Now I'm guessing all this, so so this is all a lead into to here now. I don't know whether I've done enough with the focal points in there or that's a bit of blue in there. Red, bit of oh, you can see what's happening now, can't you? You're probably thinking, what sort of day can we do now? How's he going to do all that? Well, it's a grassy knoll. Well, I know what I could do. Bit of heather. Oh, sorry about my head seeing your way. Well, I'm going to move this a bit. I it's in the way of that corner, so bear with me. You can see enough of the paddock, so I'm just going to be working around this area on it. Uh, clean the brush and get some of that lovely burnt sienna mixed with, with the yellow ochre. So I'll take a bit of sienna.
Right, now, uh, I don't think I'll be able to find any alizarin crimson, but, but, but you never know. So I'll just go over here, have a look in the mess. Oh, cadmium red BP. Uh, I know I've got some, but not uh, a big tube, you know. If not, I'll use, uh, I'll use the deep red, cadmium deep red. I'll mix it with a bit of white for, to simulate heather. So let's just put that up here. And here we go, let's clean that brush. White. Yeah. And that's your business. It's a sort of a heather colour. Plenty of oil. Uh, a bit more white. I can't, I can't see this corner. It's in the it's shiny reflecting the light. So that ready colour will counter change with with the uh, greens. Okay, well I think I'm gonna leave that alone now. I, Done about as much as water for being in there. If I was clever, I'd put in a little path down there, but I, but we spent enough time on this. So I'll put it in, the, in, in its frame, and we'll have a we can have another board ready to go. That's it for today. I I enjoy doing this one. I think you gathered that. I think this. Yep. Always a winner. I nice if this is frame. So remember, paint your, your, your cut your boards or your paper, whatever you're going to use. Paint to, to the frame that you have, actually have. Uh, Right now, I'm going to just lower this way down. Right now, we've got, got a bit of shiny light on there now. I'll pull the, I'll pull the blind up here. Now, how's that? That's a bit better. I'm just going to lighten that now. No, not too much. No. It's too dark, isn't it? So I have to put the light over the lights on. Well, it's better. It's, it's a bit of light coming in from the right. Well, there we are. It's, uh, it's my idea of a uh, yeah, Heather. Heather. Call it Heather. Heather. I quite like that one. I've never done one before. But I've always mostly steered away from trying to do these the snow on one side and then the shadow. But it seems to be okay. I hope you like that one folks. 
I'll get this uploaded and I'll see you soon. And I will take a photograph of this and put it on my Facebook page so you can see it there. Bye bye.